From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. We've had some major flash flooding to deal with over the last 24 hours or so. Rainfall for the last couple of days out at Cleveland Hopkins over two inches and many spots across Cuyahoga County got even more than that just last night and this morning. So we've still got flooded areas. Remember to avoid any flooded spots. Go in another direction. Also still dealing with a lot of wind out there. Wind advisory sticks around through 8 p.m. this evening. The wind will stay strong. We could still have gusts up to about 45 miles per hour tonight. Temperatures much cooler tonight behind that strong storm system all the way down to 43 degrees. So grab the jackets. Mike and Tracy. Okay, Ramesha, thank you. Now here's a look at today's top stories. Hi, everybody. I'm Tracy Carlos. I'm Mike Brookbank. Let's begin with the latest on the coronavirus here in the state of Ohio. Our governor saying he was, quote, quite angry when he learned the FDA had approved an Ohio lab to sterilize 10,000 N95 masks each day when the lab's machines are capable of sterilizing 80,000 masks a day. Medical workers and first responders are facing a critical shortage of those masks. Governor DeWine said he called the president to share his concerns and expects the FDA to make another decision today. Imagine running out to the store for an essential like toilet paper, only to find that they're sold out. One web developer thinks he has a solution for that. He started a website where people can find out what stores have in stock before they even walk out of their door. All the information from other users so more people can contribute. The more accurate it will be. All of that information now on our News 5 app. And for the very latest news and weather, go to News5Cleveland.com or it's real easy, just open that News 5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.